Welcome back guys, today we are looking at Kadur Remnant Once upon a time, they were very powerful faction in the Persian sector But yeah, as everyone, they got kinda screwed by the hegemony and brutally massacred Now they are only remnants of their former power and yeah, kinda suspicious of every other faction But they are getting uh, their stuff together and starting to do diplomacy with other factions that uh, don't like hegemony as well. Get ready for some crazy looking midline ships and bunch of weapons. Let's dive right into it. <laughs> you will never know how long this video took to film because I'm just starting. My mic died like uh, two days ago. Now it's alive so we can start again. But before we get into the ships we have to consult. Consult? We have to talk about something very important and that is this guardian mod. This mod. It's on every Kadur ship. Kadur. Kadur! <laughs> yeah, this, this mod is on every Kadur ship. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> Okay, this mod is on every color ship. What it makes your ship, it's ridiculously tanky. As you can see, for example, this ship has 2000 armor. Without the armored weapons pack, it is 1850. Compared to Onslaught, 1750. Also, the hit points. This is Chunky Boy. It's a slow boy, but it doesn't matter. But of course, one thing to notice, there's a second part of this mod, and yeah, that means that these ships have insane shield flux. That means it will burn through your flux super fast. If you, if I give away stabilized shield, it has each 700 flux. For example, the onslaught shield eats only 240 flux. That is insane difference. So, yes, I discovered something, uh, something extra new that I didn't know was in the game because I didn't really have a need to use it. It's the stabilized shield. It basically halves the amount you will use for your shield in terms of 700. Yeah, that's a quite a difference. So this is a must on nearly every, if not every ship of this mod. Now, let's look at the profit. It is, as I said, it is a chunky boy. Right now we have a long range build on it. It has four large weapon slots and one missile slot. Uh, ignore this, you can put whatever you want on it. The Typhoon Reaper launcher would be better. This thing is pretty insane. I don't think the long range build as we have right now is the best, not the best thing. It's of course the best because you, the range is everything. But yeah, you can go much more brawler style. The ship costs 50 points to deploy. All right, we are in range and slaughtering him from far away. Uh, to be honest, this is probably the more competitive build. Also, yeah, turn off the shields because it, they will, it's still through your flux. All right, let's get close quarter, even though it's not the play because yeah, it will die pretty fast and it has no chance. The special ability is increasing speed. The point defense is doing its work and we are, someone is typing on the Facebook. Damn it. It is not advised to get close quarter with this build, but whatever. We have bunch of Come on! We're going around. The point defense is firing super fast. Uh, and his armor is already down, so we are doing some nice damage. And our armor is holding up, but not against those flipping as rockets, so we have to move around. This was not the advice play, but we made it out. This ship is very nice. All right, now let's look at these two eagle thingy dingies. This one and this one. Very fast. Both of these things, as I said, need stabilized shield because, yeah, the flux shield thingy is absolutely insane. This costs 21 points, so it's basically an eagle. And this costs 24 points. The biggest difference is that this is longer and it has uh, much more ordinance points. It is basic, uh, as I said, it is basically an eagle. However, it doesn't have the energy slots. You can put ballistic in there. That means that this makes these two ships relatively balanced. However, this will be my mid game ship to go if I ever find it. Maybe, I don't know. Because in vanilla, the go to ship for me was eagle. This is a better eagle in my opinion. So yeah, and this is special eagle as well. Why do we have this? What is it? It costs 24 points to deploy. It is nicely mobile, as you can see. The special ability is burn speed and also it adds you 
where is that flux dissipation very interesting it is pretty hard to use for the flux dissipation but uh better than nothing right the point defense system is also bloody insane one amazing thing i have noticed about the ship that these three guns and this one as well are rotatable to the side so you can do basically a broadside even with this so these three can shoot it is not super overpowered so you won't be using broadside however if you flank the enemy around these things will shoot and it shows the uh, the difference i do not think they're flanking the ship it's a good idea but we can try speed up ah! Jets, why the shield? Yeah, okay, okay, okay. One thing to be noticed the shield doesn't work during the special ability, so you have to be careful, or you gotta get fried like me. As always, we are close range. If we die now, it was just to show the close range firepower. This should be played from far away, so let's die. We disabled this gun. Maybe we can. Uh, special ability, we need you right now. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. It's not enough, is it? Come on, come on. No, 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 no. No, it was not enough, right? But as you can see, we are cutting through the shield, so these things do damage and destroy him because he doesn't have the armor anymore. Oh no, the special ability, flux dissipation. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, yes to it. Yes. Very nice ship, very nice ship. I think it's even balanced somehow, maybe. I don't know. Uh, this, presumably another day. Ah, uh, let's continue. This is basically a dominator. It's bloody slow, the armor is decent, but what this ship excels, it's range. Especially because this mod adds 50% to the range, outranges nearly anything. Let's show it in the battle. As I said, it costs 26 points to deploy. It is goddamn slow. It has quite powerful and very interesting special ability. Now he's... We, we already are in the range, but he will get close. So yeah, this is kind of countering us right now. How close will you get? Damn it. The special ability decreases the flux use and increases the firepower. That's insane combination, but we are getting slaughtered because he got close to us. Yeah, let's try to keep up the range this time. Yes, 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 he won't make it in my opinion. Okay, increase the firepower, fire rate. Yeah, we cannot do anything. There's no way we can win against Dominator. God damn it, just take me already. Whew, let's try it this way. Increase the firepower and we are quite melting him. We cannot put up the shields or we get instantly overloaded. We should be doing it faster and fire everything. Surprisingly, with this build, we can destroy the Dominator. Uh, I guess the Gauss Cannons were too much of a flex issue. Yeah. And it's done. So takeaways from this ship. Um, it has amazing amount of firepower. The special ability is also great. However, there's one problem you have probably noticed. This ship has such a low flux dissipation for its amount of firepower it has. It's quite bad like it's comparable to the dominator but the difference that the dominator has uh, more survivability if anything gets close to the ship it will die so it's like very interesting if there are ships at the same tier that cannot get close to the ship this will win but it's pretty goddamn hard this is a big difference like this costs more and this has most more flux dissipation and it's mobile so it's uh yeah what the hell happened it is a bit hard to play with Okay, let's look at the Z's class. Comparing to the Conquest, especially Conquest, because uh, this, these ships are similar to con the Conquest. It has less flux dissipation. But what this ship holds back, it has insane shield to flux ratio. Like, this is already halved uh, a lot. What the hell? Look at those miniguns. Will decrease the capacitors? Capacitor? Insane. Uh, one more thing to be noticed, these two slots, you can put uh, launchers in them, so this ship could be using a lot of uh, rocket damage. It costs 40 points to deploy. We have increase in flux dissipation, the special ability and increase in speed. We can deal a lot of damage. We are getting close and destroying it. Sadly, we have too much uh, anti-shield damage, so we are not bursting him that fast. To be totally honest. If you swap this thing, this should be probably better. You should use some anti-armor things. Before we get to the big carrier, it's important that we read this special ability, because that's what makes this thing different. It basically creates an arc, and it supposedly decreases and makes the other fighters weak inside. Not your own, however. This carrier has four fighter base, 
bunch of large weapons, however, it falls quite away in terms of uh, flux dissipation. I'm kind of surprised, especially because if you compare it to the Legion, which wasn't that overpowered, it has four fighter base, a bunch of firepower, but much more flux dissipation. And it costs 45 points to deploy. Because, let's go against Austro because I'm really curious about the special ability, and I know, already know it looks bloody cool. A special ability? Okay, ah, there. Oh, it fries them, and it electric. Oh my god. If you know, you will go against a lot of carriers. This ship is amazing. However, the base stats, especially the flux dissipation with low fighter base, uh, like the count, the flux dissipation cannot handle all these weapons. Plus the insane shield flux, it's, it's kind of hard on the ship. Like it just drains it out very much. I would only use the ship. Uh, it's unique and yeah. Why the hell not? Then we have this uh, Heron style carrier. It looks really the same. It has a bit more firepower, bit more ordinal points and same fighter layout. However, it does have the special ability this. It just, but it should, uh, in terms of this stacks, increase the speed, maneuverability and all other characteristics of the fighters uh, when they are outnumbered. So, so I'm getting a lot of feeling that these carriers have ability that work against when they're not superior in in terms of carriers so that's uh, kind of weird yeah and now for the big big boy of this mod it is the super dreadnought the caliph class best thing might be one of the most and if not the most overpowered ship i have played with especially because this ship costs 100 points to deploy it's not 200 as nagato it could be said that nagato might be more powerful but the 100 point difference is absolutely insane this ship is nearly immortal this ship is insane because for some reason it doesn't want to take damage i already tested it a few times and i found out that it can be killed but it takes i put 300 points into enemy ships i turned off the weapons and i waited for like a bunch of time and it died after like 10 minutes so it is pretty immortal as nearly any huge ship it is made of compartments it costs 100 points to deploy and to be honest i tried this ship without a general the shields aren't the main hole so the flux is never a problem also it has this huge ghost cannon that fires a uh, launch Yep, it's overloaded. The special ability is increase of speed and we will bombard everything in its way. Let's look if they get hit on the hull. This generator supposedly eats all the damage and only the, the ship takes only damage if this thing gets overloaded and it takes a lot of time. You can see the shield is getting weaker because everything is bombarding it but we can just turn this thing around and tank it with the other. Oh, but why the hell we are spinning so fast? This wasn't as planned. We're getting bombarded and we're not taking any damage because this this car is tanking it for some reason. We still, everything has full HP still. And now the shield is already up. This ship isn't uh, flexible in terms of turning around. Where the hell is it? We're destroying two capital ships at the same time. Lovely. Now we're gonna hit finally. Oof! Oof! That was a hit! I'm not even trying anymore. This is one of the strongest ships in the game. There's nothing to be done against this ship. And we didn't even use the general, so yeah, with the general it's uh, pretty insane. But one thing that this ship has, it's one of the most beautiful ships I have seen in Star Sector. And I mean it, it's just amazing. And I hope Super Dreadnoughts should be in the game. Why not 100 points? But it should be more balanced. But yeah, this thing is work of art. Weapons. And now let's look at some of the more interesting weapons of this mod. Every one of you here is here, probably because of this gun. Yeah, this huge cannon. It costs insane amount of ordinance points. It costs only 20 because, yeah, I messed up. Everything here is discounting by 10, so keep that in mind. It costs originally 30 ordinance points. It's a huge weapon with huge amount of damage. What makes this thing different from the other large cannons is that this 
has a magazine which can dish out insane amount of damage but it also can surprisingly eat free air flux ridiculously fast but what makes this mod special for me it's not this big cannon but it's the point defense system things for example these small i think this is very strong thing it has decent range amazing amount of damage and lo low flux and it costs one ordinal points and in this game ordinal points do quite a lot so saving your ordinal points but putting in the, all the small slots these things makes quite a difference we have a big range point defense systems and this many medium weapons with the 1200 range the only nerfing factor of this gun it is super inaccurate it's uh it's pretty bad if you can start firing it fires in the things this is all the large weapons they look amazing these guns are very good anti-armor things very very good however this shotgun thingy is a bit inaccurate so i don't enjoy it as much the point defense system is just amazing absolutely insane i think they're a bit too overpowered and i'm using them on all of my ships for the big rocket this thing uh yeah i don't get this thing it's super slow in any normal ships i have tried it the ship is one too fast and this thing cannot hit him or it has too much point defense so this thing cannot get close at all uh yeah the huge rocket isn't that good at least i cannot find a way to make it work Uran, what about the fighters i tried them i didn't find anything special worth showing they are decent yeah they, were, they weren't super strong and they weren't super weak so they were kinda meh this mod is very interesting the ships are definitely on the stronger side the ships look amazing and the effects are amazing as well so i'm pretty curious what you think about it so if you have any opinion leave it down in the comments below i cannot wait to read them all hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you next time ciao ciao like and subscribe